Yeah, we got to do all that over. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. No worries, no worries. Shout to Blake. All right, Shout so we Blake. are, uh, my bad guys, we were live on everything else. Uh, but to the all deaf audience, what it do, we are the Arcade Tokens. Uh, we have to hear more on as a guest for Black Blasphemy. And just to quickly reiterate, this is a game completely based off of things that we would never, ever admit in a room full of Black people, all right? This is just our deepest, darkest secrets. Um, and, uh, you know, we were just talking about uh, how, you know, booty bread, the booty pieces of bread, it's not that bad. Right, hmm. uh, <laughs> but I do want to ask you guys this real quick. Would you guys be mad if you ordered French toast and they brought that out, booty pieces of bread? I'm fighting. <laughs> I'm fighting everybody in that restaurant. I'm Here's my thing. The booty bread, because it's like that end piece right there where it's like, it's, it's like kind of seals in the flavor. So I feel like it would have, like on regular pieces of bread, it is just seep through because there's so many holes in it. But on the end piece, mm. it'll lock it in. That's a flavor trap right there. That's like when you, get to the, when you get to the bottom of the, of the pitcher of Kool-Aid or, or juice or whatever, and all that flavor has just set at the bottom and you pour that last glass and that, that, last, that last morsel of juice just hit different. Like right here, I feel like, the booty bread would do the same thing. It'd trap that flavor in. It's basically the gushers of bread. It locks in all the flavor. That's yeah. horrifying. And okay. it make no, nah, hey, and it make you feel just a little bit more fancy. Then you realize you're eating the butt bread, and you like, this is hard times. <laughs> still, take me away. <laughs> it's a booty, realization piece. Booty bread keeps you humble. If you eat yes, the it does. bread, it will keep you humble because you be like, man. I, I could go out and get another another loaf of bread, or I could eat this and, and just make my money stretch a little bit longer. Booty bread keeps you humble. I See, agree. Cleo, you don't know nothing about that because you've been rich all your life. You know you've been you famous did. since 13, whatever, bro. You did. Yeah, you did. Eat, eat your middle slices, Cleo. Eat your middle <laughs> slices and your damn sploosh and your onions and all of that stuff. All I'll right? take I'm it all I'm, si I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Cleo. <laughs> all right, so how, this is how the game works. Uh, basically, we all submitted uh, to King Zordon, who's the guy behind the ones and twos. We submitted to him all of our uh, crazy facts about ourselves in four categories. We have food, we have movies and TV, we have music, and we have general black culture. Mm -hmm. So what, whoever's turn it is, pick something from the category. Kadeem is going to throw up a fact about one of the other three people. And then that person has to guess who feels that way. And if that's confusing, we're going to give to here an example round. So to oh, here, all you yeah, got to yeah. do is pick between food, movies and TV, music and general black culture. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we get. So what do you pick? Just based on each one of your individual personalities, I think the thing that would help me separate you guys the easiest, easiest right off the gate would be music. So let's go music. Yikes, strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, All yeah. right. Let's uh let's throw some some musical fact up. Yeah. Oh god. I've <laughs> never listened to a biggie album. That is ridiculous. Woo! That's insane. All right. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so here's the thing. I know Will um is heavy in the South, UGK influence. Um Paul Wall influence. However, he's still appreciative of music. And because of his musical knowledge and prowess, I'm going to say it is not Will Ferrell. Uh, Mr. Slick Living tour with Bow Wow. Now, while that doesn't give him much lyrical credit. <laughs> what? uh, <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> because because most, most people that like like trap and and rap and shit like that won't go back to like listen to like Tupac and Biggie and stuff like that. However, uh Cleo has uh a, an extreme history in everything entertainment. You know, like he's a thespian of the arts and everything like that. And when it comes to Pat, I feel like Pat is very well versed in a lot of things. He's an ace of a lot of a lot of suits. However, there are general knowledge things that Pat just does not know. Like it literally escapes him. And it's 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 bewildering if you if you if you're being completely honest. So based on that, I'm going to have to go with Pat. That was a very in-depth 
an amazing strategic however breakdown. however 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 oh, you just, okay yes if i'm being 100 percent honest it's clear it's mr slick living no you just saw our reactions you <laughs> saw right. our reactions but let me assure you that your strategic breakdown was 100 percent just not correct from the beginning because it was will will has <laughs> never heard a big <laughs> album <laughs> Will nope. has never heard a Explain big Explain yourself, Will. <laughs> never heard one. <laughs> heard the greatest hits, and I was like, hmm. Well, this was Mr. good. Mr. Uh, prowess. Musical prowess to, to hear. <laughs> How does it feel to hear? How does it feel to see that? I I feel like I don't even know this other person that's on the screen with us right now. No, you don't. This is somebody I consider a friend, and the fact that he's never heard an entire Biggie Wait, album. Wait, but to Will's credit, there was a South versus New York uh, beef. So I'm just catching up with everything. Like, but then I'm, again, nah, Spotify yeah. has been out for years. Not only that, that shit ended in 98, my nigga. Ah, like, we not, hey, we're not going to do that. Cool. We hold grudges. Okay. Nah, fuck that. We hold grudges. Let me tell you something, Will. There is no excuse. You understand me? No excuse for that. That type of behavior. All right. If anyone knows a grudge, Ooh. it would be you. You this are the is true. You are the this same person who has a grudge against people in coming to America too that had nothing to do with you. <laughs> and you were like, screw all of them. This what? is also true. This is also true. However, here's the point that I want to make. That potentially messed up my money for, 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 for my future finances, right? <laughs> you are talking about a North and East, I mean, North and South beat that really wasn't as big as the East and West beat. Now, if you had been a Cali native and you said that, I'd be like, okay, I can kind of see that, you know, maybe it was passed down generational to, from his, pap, his pops to him, but you're in the South, Will. That had shit to do with you. Hey, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is a judgment free. <laughs> Remember, this whole show. Is right. based around stuff right. that we would never I'm say sorry. at our own family barbecue. I saw. I, I, no, no, no. I took it. I took it. I took it. I took it personal. Get your initial I took it thoughts off your chest. Get your. I took, yeah, it, yeah. I took it. I took it personal. I took it personal. I apologize because <laughs> Biggie is one of my favorites. But you are you are completely free to have not have heard a Biggie album. Hit another. Hit another example uh, to hear. What, what's another uh, category? Uh, let's shit. I am. I am so thrown for. <laughs> that's, uh, you don't know where we coming. Yeah, let's go. Idea. Let's go. Culture. I feel like culture would be the most difficult. Black culture. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Black culture. Whew, that threw me for a loop. <laughs> no big. Ever. I gave him all the the he, big ups, and he, he just let me up. You were like, I was like, oh wow. He only got a few albums. Too. Two. Okay. He here we got, go. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I have. I guess that's never. Is that never? Who is submitted okay. to Kadeem and can't spell? Okay. It's a myth that black people can dance. Ooh. Wow. Let me just get that off, off the gate. Wow. Um, um, okay. Now, are we all doing this one or? Um, this is this is just another example. And then we're going to well, okay. go back to the Okay. I, I'm, I am still so fucked up in the last one. I am. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I'm like, nigga, it's two albums. It's just two. Okay, just get uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not even asking you to listen to Junior Mafia. I'm just saying Biggie, but oh. <laughs> For you so to hear, this one, I'm a listen. For you. Thank you, man. Just just go to Ready to Die. The first album is, is, is great. All right, um, back to it's a myth that, that black people can dance. Let's, let's say... Um, I'm gonna go with Cleo on this one, and that's only one reason that I, I I'm, I'm I'm saying that Cleo is because um, he doesn't have a mustache, so his credibility <laughs> with me is just shot off the gate. It's, I know it's I know it's nothing you can do about that Cleo, but I just it's weird, man, looking at a naked lip and it's like Logic hair. The hair is right there, like it wants to grow, but I know it's not gonna act right. So I get it. I'm just saying if I had to, because I have nothing else to go on. I feel like uh, uh, another reason I say that is because you were on tour, so you saw people in the crowds like moving, but they're not really dancing. Yeah. Pat went to CSUN and 
I feel like that's a good reason to say it, but I feel like Seaside was more diverse than just black people. So he wouldn't have had like a good range for it. And Will's from the South, even though that doesn't say much right now, <laughs> what I just learned about him. <laughs> uh, to, to be a chick in the South, you don't really have to dance if you got a fat ass. You just gotta be able to move from right to left. Mm. So based on that fact alone, I feel like, and I only say Cleo because really he was on tour and he probably saw more black people in large crowds than anybody else. So I'm just gonna say Cleo. He's got a point. He's got a point Cleo. there. Cleo, is that you? That's not me though. Oh, wow. That's not Cleo. You're damn right it's me. I got <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, hear me out. Hear me out. You know what? I My think son. that TikTok exposed us. TikTok exposed black people. Now hear me out. Break Even it down. Hazel turning over. Look at <laughs> Hazel is drunk. <laughs> up until up until social media, mm. we've all taken credit for black entertainers, right? Right. James Brown could dance his ass off. Oh, black people, Michael Jackson, Usher. B2K, we're just like black people, black people, black people. But as a whole, we can't dance like that. It's we we took that stereotype and we were just like, yeah, we can all dance. We all have rhythm. But we were taking credit for like a thousand black people. And if you really want to be cool, like there's a, there's entertainers in other cultures that also are are more elevated and advanced in entertainment. But tick, people are at home doing TikToks. Ninety percent of them be weak. I don't think I don't. I just don't think we could dance as much as we were given credit. And Pat, I think and Pat knowing this knowledge, now I need you to explain Dance Break to me. Dance Break was no the more. first sign that I was on the set of Dance Break. Like, huh? Nobody on this set can really dance like that. <laughs> and we, we weren't were supposed. We weren't. We weren't supposed to, and we weren't all black because Trevor was That's on the set. True. Oh, we weren't true. supposed to. And now I would just say this. Now I add to my list of people not to trust, people <laughs> with no mustaches, and people, guys who wear blouses. So now you're on the list <laughs> based wow. on your blouse wearing ass. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Wait, wait. Who like else that. is on the blouse list? Well, it's just Pat right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been on the blouse list. Yeah. Though. Pat and Billy. Billy sometimes gets that, he gets that extended credit as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start this game. Let's I, do it. Right? Let's I am do it. flabbergasted right there. <laughs> oh, this is just the beginning. Those are, those are just the, those are just the uh, now we're getting into stuff that we have collectively not heard together. Cool. Yes. Um, all right, so who wants to go first? I uh, just got I just got Molly Wap twice, so it ain't going to be a break. Boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah you Pat, go. you go first. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do food. Give food. me a Give me a food one for 1800, Mr. Zornoff. Mm. This is gonna be hard. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! No! Wow. Cornbread is overrated. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Mm, mm, mm. I have, man, I thought there was some untouchable, untouchable stuff. <laughs> if Biggie ain't untouchable, cornbread is definitely not untouchable. This is way more interesting to me than someone not hearing Biggie. Because damn, I just tasted cornbread right now. <laughs> it is for sure equally rated. I don't, I don't know what, I feel like this can't be Will. This can't I'm shocked. be. I, man, I'm shocked. I'm shocked in the fall. <clears throat> can't you tell by my face? This can't be Will. <laughs> but I feel like Tahir could have some wild shit like this too. <sighs> Tahir could for sure have some wild. <sighs> I don't know. Tahir, I one feel of the like Pat, you would say some shit like that. I, I feel like it would be Pat too. Well, no, it, it can't be me. It can't. I know. Be I know. I know. It can't be you. But I was like, this would. If Pat said that, I wouldn't be surprised. Damn. Okay. Well, to hear, I don't. I don't mean to throw you know extra people under the bus. One of the craziest things that you missed was uh, your boy Cleo. Uh, Cleo prefers uh, blue box macaroni and cheese to homemade macaroni and cheese. See, that's 
that's a lit thing. That okay. was that one is, of the uh, okay. that was that one is, of the big ones. That is okay. definitely a lit thing. Um, right there. So not to no just self, no self respected man with a full mustache would ever pick blue block blues over baked macaroni. No, none. Well, you know that's me? that's the only reference I have to go off of. Like, that's the only yeah, man. That's Ooh, the shit. only thing I could see in line with cornbread being overrated. So I, I gotta go Cleo. I gotta go Cleo with this. Is it Cleo? Cleo, is it you? You damn right it's me. I said it. I said cornbread is overrated. Wow. I you know, listen, what is it? Tell someone tell me what cornbread is. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what it is. I don't need the I don't need the recipe. I don't need the recipe. Let me tell you what I would prefer. Cornbread. Let me tell you what I would prefer, is is what I would prefer on my plate. Cornbread I would prefer is my past. turkey. Mm -hmm. I would prefer my Kraft macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, some yams over to the side. Give me a biscuit. Just give me a biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, biscuit. biscuit. None of that shit even go together. Cornbread. You could have said a roll. Cornbread. Right. Out of here. First of all, who's checking for cornbread? Nobody. You know what, Cleo? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It's gonna be very difficult if you ever say the word nigga around me not to call. <laughs> It's gonna be very difficult because at this point you show me you can't be trusted, you can't grow a mustache, and you you're just disrespectful hey, to our ancestors. I, Cleo retreated to what even is cornbread? Somebody <laughs> tell me what cornbread is. How do so, you make it? What? So, <laughs> so I just I just it? I just have to interject here, fellas. I you thought I wouldn't do this, but just so you know, Cleo's one was cornbread is uh better than biscuits, or is it better than biscuits? Will's What's cornbread is overrated. I just have to put that out there. Oh, they're both. I mean, both y'all on the same exact side, though. I oh, so it's two. So will you with me on this? What? No. Then who what? said? Who said? Who said that? Wait in? a minute, Will. Oh. You just cooked <laughs> him. Don't you throw me in the trenches with him? I said I oh. got bread. Listen, yeah. all I'm going is what I got off of. I got two. I got cornbread isn't better than biscuit, and I got cornbread is overrated. Now, who I said, said cornbread isn't better than biscuits for sure. Then who said cornbread Will! is overrated? It was overrated. Nah, it was not me. Then, was how not did me. I get it? You think I just double out my ass? Hey, yeah, it's me. Not me. Nope. What me? Don't you tell you try to drag me down with your You're not nope. trying to wait, 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 wait. You don't let you Cleo do. take the fire and you ain't even trying to go back on hey, it. Don't put hey. me in that fire. Then you know what? Don't you ask me for no biscuits ever. <laughs> I don't want to ever hear you ask me for none of my cheddar bay biscuits. Never. Oh, Trifling. Wait a minute. Trifling. No Man. biscuits for you, brother. Are they from wow. Red Lobster? That's exactly where I'm going to get my biscuits from. And you don't you don't want to ride this train with me? Fine. You can take that cornbread over there, dry ass, weird ass, textured right. ass bread. Get it out of here. That and right. booty bread. Cornbread wait, and booty bread, minute. same thing. Will, you gave wait a, a cornbread answer though. Wait a minute. Now, when he threw cheddar, cheddar biscuits in there. Wait, so you you legitimately. So, the, so the, don't I like just sent the like email back out. I sent it to Wood. I sent it to. Oh, no, no, no. Let's look at it. <laughs> yeah, I sent it to Pat it. right now. I sent it to Pat right now. Go ahead. Yeah, don't, don't make it seem like Will's a liar. I mean, Kadeem's a liar out here. Hey, go get hey, it, I said it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> Trifling. So you really let me left me out here Trifling. on the Trifling. You let yeah. him die. Yo, somebody, somebody call Urban Dictionary and tell them to ask picture next to Will's picture next to ain't shit ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, he he left Kadeem out there on the <laughs> island even when he was called out. It's gonna be me like this. <laughs> that is trife. You said <laughs> put that on top of this picture now. I said it to all uh, death. I know I'm not wrong with this. I nah, know I'm not wrong. I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why I said it, and it was. I don't want to look at your other answer. It was based off exactly what he just said because my homegirl was like, "One gotta go cheddar cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster or cornbread." I immediately had an answer. That's how I knew cornbread. But is, that's different than it being overrated. You saying it's overrated, just saying it's it's not all that good. Period. No, 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 no. Once you think about it, it's like if it's gone, I wouldn't miss it. Like if cornbread was gone, I would not miss it. But like, is it overrated? Be... Yeah, because people like you can see people's face, and I'm like, no, you can't live without cornbread. Like it's cornbread. Cornbread. Be fine. cornbread. You gotta have the cornbread. No, you right. I'd be fine.
You nigga, you nigga, sit down when you pee. You understand me? <laughs> okay. Both of you, both of you, shameless ass niggas, sit down when you pee. They hear when I tell you. Dis- you the next because let me let me explain something to you, Cleo. <laughs> back in the days when blacks were living Get in shacks, up. back in the days when blacks were living in shacks and we didn't have anything really. Cornbread was the cornerstone of the food community to make sure those bellies were full. Okay, it, you mix that cornbread with whatever you're drinking, or whatever you're eating, you're gonna be full, even if you got a little bit. So, for you to sit up here and disrespect our ancestors, you <laughs> and with Will, first of all, I did that when nothing. they go into the history of cornbread. I gave, I gave, <laughs> I gave them all they credit. I was just like, yo, if Thanos came in, that was, I'm like, oh no, pass the biscuits. You know what? Wow. I don't know. I don't right. know if my nerves can take this game. No, See, that's just because right. y'all ain't got to admit y'all shit. It's been us right now. No, I, I can't wait. wait. Get set up. My corn, my, see what y'all my, my beanie is sponsored by 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 Jiffy. You understand me? Like this is this came from collecting that's enough what I wanted to look. UPCs. I hate, look, I hate the packaging. I hate okay, it. first first of all, first of all, that's, that's, on that's that corn one. muffin mix. Okay, so you're talking about the picture, the corn, the corn bread when it's by itself, that triangle of corn bread when it's sweet and it's hot, you put a little piece of butter on, it, and that butter just just breaks down and starts glistening and moistening oh up that top. I'm cornbread oh. tonight just to spite you guys. Ugh, y'all can keep all that. I'll be having my biscuits. Thank you. Wow. Okay. No, like I said, like we said, get your original thoughts out and then no judgment. And oh, my, so, it might me when you make some cornbread. Cool. I'm still Cleo, eating. <laughs> Cleo, it's only, it's only right that you go next. Let's do this, man. Uh, let's go. Let's go. TV film. I would okay. love to see some black blasphemy based on TV and film from the three gentlemen. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never seen holes ever. Fine, brother. I, I that's okay. Oh. Somebody wilding out. The Chappelle show was just okay. This is what happens when you get a game show with no comics on it. This gotta be out of the two of you to hear to hear it Cause Chappelle is Pat's favorite. So he for sure wouldn't say no shit like that. Wow. I'll lie about some cornbread, but I ain't gonna lie about this shit. This nigga didn't even favorite. spell Chappelle's name right. This is right. All utmost disrespect. The Chappelle show was just okay. That's the Chappelle. The Chappelle. I still, iconic, look. iconic skits, iconic stories told, iconic characters, iconic freestyles. You, this is the first time you got to see Wayne Brady in another character. You ain't never seen a gangster Wayne Brady before, ever. Y'all are wilding. This is y'all are wildin'. I got nothing to say. Nah, this ain't me. Of course, I know it's it hard isn't. to believe anything. Of course, say. it isn't Will. Mm-mm. So I'm I got so, so I have to choose who I think this came from. You know who it is, Cleo. You know who the most trifling person in this <laughs> Zoom is. Now that, now that I, now that Will did the low key cornbread stab, he did all of these. He did all of all every choice. I'm never gonna be believable. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Will is all of them from now on. Will, that is a shame. That ain't me. That's not of course me. It is. That is not me. So I got to. So my choice is Will. Okay. If you decide to choose me, it ain't me. Who is it? <laughs> it ain't me. No fucking way. Say here. No way. Yeah, Yo. I said it. I said it. <laughs> I knew it wasn't me. I said it. I said it. You no, I'm not. I'm telling the, the absolute he, truth. The fact he said, no, this is what happened when you got a show with no comedians on it. Mm-hmm. So the oh, tri- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody's no, mm-hmm. everybody's poker face is gonna come out. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody's poker face is pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Do you like Chappelle yeah. as a as a stand up comic? Why? Yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's a great. I think it's a great comic. He's not my favorite, but I think it's a great comic. And he's not. It's, 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 it's him not being my favorite isn't based on his uh, inability to make me laugh. That's not what it is. He's very able to make me laugh. I think he's hilarious. It's just the style of comedy. I prefer a different style. I like a more Patrice O'Neill, more Mike Epps, uh, more physical, more like I, I, that's that's my style. Like Tony Roberts, Tony Baker, Kevin says like that's my, I like that. Um, and Chappelle isn't that for me. And with the Chappelle show. I thought it was okay. I thought it was funny. Like, so let's break down this, this, the words in this. Just okay. Like, even people who don't like Chappelle's show see mm-hmm. it as a great show. 
but you just see it as just okay. Yeah. And what do you mean by okay? Like the show itself in general is just okay. I would say this: the Chappelle show was on for what three seasons, three four seasons. Three, two uh, the third, two, the third three. one was hidden. Three was hidden. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, so let's say two seasons. Let's say out of the two seasons, the combined minutes of time that I've watched the Chappelle show may equate it to a show and a half. Wow. So that's that. I didn't I didn't have that urge to it wasn't like in living color for me. Like in Living Color was like we we set the VCR for in Living Color. I had direct TV. I could have recorded Chappelle show. I just was like, nah, I'm watching. And you and stand. you saw all of it, right? I saw most of it. What I did see, I saw like clips and stuff like that. I saw the I saw the main ones. I saw the real real world. I saw Tyrone Biggins. I saw uh not so uh, hmm? you saw the real world sketch and mm-hmm. didn't it, and you it think was, it's just okay? Oh, I the, thought it was funny. The player what about the, ball? the player haters ball. <laughs> oh, that was funny too. <laughs> yeah. The player haters ball. But it was it was funny. But you know what I'm saying? Like the way y'all are able to but name was, those, I can name I can name Tyrone Biggins. I can name the cornbreast. Uh, was it the corporate? Well, no, it was a yellow cake sketch, and that one was just okay. I just I remember remembering because it was just like so ridiculous. Like, oh, don't drop that shit, man! I was just like, was that was cake. one part to a major thing. That was black oh, it was cake. oh, it was yeah, like that well, goes on a whole segment. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> to hear, do you like? It's crazy. Do you like Key and Peele? I do. Do you think it's a better show? Um. I don't, I don't think it was necessarily better. I you think it was, it was just uh, okay too? I thought it was, I thought it was funny. Like, I, but I, I'm not pressed to go see that either. Like, so I was that style of show just not your thing? I don't know. I just, I just, I just didn't feel the urge to like. Oh man, I got like, I won't, I wouldn't ever binge and watch the Chappelle show. Um, I, 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 just, I probably, I would probably watch more episodes of Key and Peele than I would the Chappelle show. That is a great one. Jesus. Okay, I'll, I'll flip it for me. I'll, uh, cause I feel the same way, like, uh, to hear, like, I know comedy is subjective. So I'm like, like certain people, I don't find funny that people will say is funny. Um, I feel the same way about Ken Peel. Like Ken Peel was just okay. Like it wasn't bad. But I know was, a lot of people who think that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But it's like, like if you gave me a list of like they best ones you think I'd probably watch that through. But like I tried to watch like through all five seasons and I couldn't get through. They had more misses than Chappelle, but it was a great show. Yeah. 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 Not, it not yet. Not, so not good at skits. Yeah. Hey, when, it, when the Dave Chappelle show first rolled out, were you seeing all this hype surrounding it? Like everyone was like, yo, you got to watch it. And I, like, I remember seeing my people around me like, in tears, mm-hmm. laughing, like legit, like I gotta see the next episode. I gotta run that skit back, like right. legit. And I didn't get it at the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it was, I really felt like there's some subliminal marketing going on. Are we seeing something? A good shot, by the way. I would love to take a, sh- a shot with you. <laughs> <laughs> he Is says, it, through the cup. My bottle. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get, I, I don't get why it didn't hit for me, but then later on down the line, after I watched it, I, I got with it. I understood. Yeah. I, I know why it had its impact. You know it what, maybe didn't... maybe at the time, um, what was going on, I had a lot going on. I was in college, I was working four jobs. Uh, so maybe at the time, it just wasn't a priority for me. Gotcha. Um, so you missed and the wave and the impact. I might, but I don't hop on waves either. So like the more people like try to push me towards something, be like, yo, you gotta check this out. I was like, nigga, shut the fuck up, bro. I watch it when maybe I watch it. That good. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, I don't like, People hype shit up and they sensationalize it. You be like, you get to it, and you be disappointed. So I just, I wait till the waves dies down, and when they run the reruns, that's when I would catch. Objective, it. yeah. Yeah. Now to hear what well, you said, you was working at the time. Did anybody use like any jokes or references from the show? Because I know that's what pulled me in. Was like, I can't not as it. much, not not as okay. much. And yeah. see, I think that may have been another reason why too, because I wouldn't have really heard about it if my like coworkers weren't doing like the whole Rick James bitch and all that stuff. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, what are y'all doing? Then they told me about it, and then I went watched, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That could be it. Well, there it is, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That's a great one. All right, yeah, no, well, now we come to trifling ass Will. Mr. Trifle Will. There's a dude that uh, said ribs are overrated. Brown ass Will. Whoa, who said ribs were overrated? That nigga there. Who, is that Pat? Pat, yeah. 
Yeah. Pat, when I see you, bro, whenever they lift this quarantine, you got three of them coming to you, bro, boy. We, bring, we bringing up old shit, Will? I'm, yeah, I'm right. gonna have to fire on you, Pat. Well, let's talk season. about it. I just think that ribs, people just sensationalize them. They're good. They're really good. But it's like people be talking about them like they in love. I don't get it. I just don't get the the hype with ribs. That's it. You don't get deliciousness? You don't, you don't get juicy tender. No, that's the thing. They are delicious. Uh-huh. But I would rather, if you offered me ribs or brisket, I would probably get brisket. So, really? Pat, what you say, what you're saying is, if it was gone like Thanos, you wouldn't miss it. I'd probably miss ribs, but I wouldn't, I miss kill, ribs. My, I wouldn't kill myself okay. like a lot of these other people. Like, I feel like they were like, people would be like, ribs? <laughs> like... I know people who like ribs is their island desert, like desert island food. That, like yeah, there's so the much other great meat that can go into a barbecue. Like, give me some tri tip, some brisket. Ribs yeah. way at the bottom of the list for me. Clear, not on this. Not, not, not clear. I will say this, bro. To your, to your defense, shut the fuck up. Okay? <laughs> I did not see that. You coming. eat blue box macaroni, so you can't speak unless you raise your hand, my nigga. Like you or something different. And who's serving these friends tri tip? That's a real bougie ass statement to you. I said it. Tri tip. Tri tip is fire. I don't even know what that means. Oh, and this is, like, let's talk about ribs. What really make ribs popping? Right, the so sauce wanna, that y'all put on it. The no, barbecue no, sauce. It's not the me, texture. Me, it's me, the sauce. Me, no, it's, it's the fucking sauce. It's not the, see, see not it's just, this is spoken by two niggas that come from cities where they ain't known for barbecuing. If you ever go to Texas, you ever go to St. Louis, you go to Kansas City, you go to North Carolina. The, the the integrity that they put in the meat, the smoking, the seasoning, the integrity? The making sure, yes, it's integrity yeah. because your yep. reputation is on the line. You yep. put a the lot line. into that. So yes, integrity, your yep. name, your family name, all of that is on the line, your business, everything. So put yes, we put a Texas. lot. The yep. sauce should mm-hmm. only be the cherry on top. If the ribs ain't good without sauce, then you ain't done it right in the first place. That's number one. Number but two, that's the thing. I am wait, 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 wait. Brisket is pulled apart. You gonna just, you gonna eat that like this? Huh? You gonna eat that like, no. Why have a fork? fork. You could you could do it with a fork, but let's say you don't have that. Let's say you had a black black cookout. Somebody that was supposed to bring the forks, all the cutlery in all the places. You think niggas don't use forks? Hold on, on, wait, 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 wait. wait. (laughs) The person who was supposed to bring the cutlery, I just said that, and plates. You're racist. Late. That person's late. The ribs are ready. The brisket's ready, but you can't eat that brisket in your hand. Ribs, boom, right here. Mm, I'm right here with it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, if, no, niggas no, is, no. if niggas is fucking up, I could add that to your scenario. What if the nigga who did the ribs is late? What? Same scenario. Wait, wait, then, we, wait, wait, then, wait. The, then the barbecue ain't starting. Yeah. How about that? The barbecue ain't starting unless the ribs is on there. I need to you know, the barbecue ribs. and then come to the barbecue. Ain't no, ain't no lack of forks ever stopped a uh, barbecue. Niggas just go inside and get silverware. Facts. You're not gonna out fork me out of brisket. I'll eat brisket with my hands. I'll eat tri tip with my hands. Let me get Facts. a little. Let me break open a Hawaiian roll and make some tri tip sandwiches real quick. Let's talk to him, Pat. So you doing all that and somebody just preach to him, Pat. Do this with a rib. You're not finna just take it and eat it. Niggas ain't eating ribs for convenience. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. How you know, Pat? You don't even eat barbecue, my nigga. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I admit. If I grew up somewhere where ribs were crazy and barbecue was a big part, I would probably think something different. I can't expect to go to fucking Sweden and be like, what's your knowledge on street tacos, nigga? Nothing. They don't like street tacos out there. That's an L.A. thing. So you don't know that, Pat. <laughs> ain't no Swedish street tacos hidden. I guarantee you. Hey, they might have some fire fish tacos. You nigga, don't know. They got lamb and ram tacos. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm Cleo and Will. I'm gonna get y'all some t-shirts that say "fuck you, Pat" too for the uh so for the sketch guy. But I'm gonna get y'all some too. Yeah, wear on this show this show because I'm Pat wearing is, that shirt more than anybody. Really, Pat is just outrageous with his claims right now. I don't know where the fuck this nigga's getting off, but I am. I feel so disrespected right now. All right, well, Will tried to get the attention off of himself by throwing the little rib jab at me. Literally, I just hey, I just lied. But after all, out of all food. Ribs versus cornbread. Ribs is gonna always have people looking at you like, "What the fuck?" I don't know. People were pretty upset about that cornbread. Don't even, don't even <laughs> like that. They were upset about my deceit. This is different. Left me out oh. there to die. Damn, Damn that was. <laughs> Left me out. Will can't be trusted die. at this point. But uh, uh, Will, pick a pick a category for you. Uh, let me pick. I, we haven't done. Uh, oh, we just did movies and television. Which music? One we, we have. Oh, we we've done everything. General black culture. General, general black culture. yeah, let's go with general culture then. 
No, we did that one. That was a that was a uh, example. Yeah, let, let's get general culture then. Oh wow, that's some light skin shit, and I ain't talking about like light skin shit. I'm talking about Cleo light skin shit. <laughs> that's because Cleo Cleo the type of nigga to get out the shower and don't put no product in his hair, just let the water curl it up. That's some light skin light skin. Shit. No, that's no, that's Moroccan shit. If you're if you're from somewhere as niche as that, your your hair probably curls perfectly with just water. Hey, listen, baby, it's you all African different. at the end of the day. That's you niggas, is, you niggas is different, bro. That's Moroccan yeah. shit. Woo! No, Kadeem hella quiet too. He probably do the same shit. Listen, I'd have put any of my black blasphemy on it. This is all y'all. <laughs> don't worry about me. Don't worry about what I got going on. <laughs> I don't use lotion during quarantine. That's hilarious. Shit. I'm not even gonna lie. Lotion ain't even that expensive. Why y'all ain't using lotion? I don't know who that is. Yeah, I prefer I prefer cocoa butter. I can't lie. That mat that that counts though. I feel like body butters, cocoa butters, all counts as like lotion in yeah. this context. I feel like this nigga trying to throw you off by saying I prefer a cocoa butter. Shut your ass. Nah, no, to you hear, know what? To hear, I may have pretty, to go. To hear, put your hands to the to the camera right now. Let's see your oh, ass. I'm, I'm always no, I'm always. Ain't, ain't. It I'm always it. moisturized. Ash test. Bet that. I'm, oh, man. I may have to go with Pat on this one. Break down your reasoning. Don't just throw the ashy reputation on me Cause automatically. Because here's my thing. People have got on you about being ashy. And oh, I've seen you. And I've seen I did you. it. I've done it I, while yes. we were filming. I said, boy, what's wrong yes. with the ankles? I'm and not I seen ashy, you. though. I have light I ankles. <laughs> It's true. I would wear my feet exposed and they'd be lotion and everybody would just see them on camera and be like, you got you ashy. No, my feet don't see sunlight. <laughs> They're lotion. They just, they just not, I'm not an ashy nigger. I'm just not. Somebody just called you Astra Cloud. Asterisk? That's not even okay. That don't that barely rhymes. So Pat shows up to sets in those damn moccasins, and you can see like half of his foot. And right. y'all just realized you it really do be a lashy or light. Don't it's know. It's light. <laughs> it gotta be. I think it's Pat, bro. Cause to hear to have to see it to hear with the light feet. See, lotion. Look, they're light as fuck. I just lotioned them. Look how white they look. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I th I'm. I'm gonna go with my my gut instinct. I'm gonna say Pat. I'm Damn, Will. Pat. That's fucked up because you are 100 percent wrong. That was not me. Who is this? Who put this on me? Who did this to me? Damn it to here. Damn it to Let's here. Let's go to here. Let's he go was the to most to here. here. <laughs> what? Fuck that. Fuck that, man. I'm not keep using all this lotion and shit, bro. I ain't going nowhere. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Damn, man, my face so look good. Sense. I'm not. I'm, I'm frugal. Y'all know I'm frugal as hell. That makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. I'm at Target every week already on some other shit. Yeah. You want me to go and buy some lotion? You know how expensive Jergens is? And then the Shea Buddy Body that I use, and the Tish is always selling out of the banana. Pudding. It's too much, bro. I got to conserve, bro. That's why you keep wearing jackets. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. why you keep putting jackets and hoodies on and all your shit. I'm not gonna show y'all all my shit. That's why. Take a shot too. Yo, Take look, a shot the too. Reason, the reason why I was laughing is because there was a smooth week and a half where I was on the same shit. I was getting out of the shower and just chilling. I started getting itchy and shit. I started scratching my chest. I was like, nigga, what is wrong? And I was like, oh shit, I haven't lotioned my body in a smooth week and a half. So no, I, I, I get it. I understand. Yeah. I need to start. You should start. You're going to start aging. I definitely kept the lotion tucked on. I think about it. You just made me realize, hey, I really ain't touched it. I'm not Niggas going outside. Read, I'm not doing Niggas that read shit, that man. sentence and realized they were in the same boat. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> doing that shit, bro. I'm not doing Bro, I ain't wore underwear in the last month and a half, bro. I'm not wow. You've been freeballing for a month? Yeah, and absolutely. 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 It's been two weeks. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the fuck? Was you, was you pre game in quarantine? Is that what you was doing? It got nothing to do with the fucking quarantine. Nah, we, 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 quarantine started like the week after my birthday. My birthday was on the 7th. That was a Saturday. And Everybody then, like, late. that next week, thank you. Uh, uh, March 7th, I'm sorry. So, it's like, from March 14th on, it's been all quarantine. So, that's about a month and a half, my boy. 
It's all well, been, it's been quarantine, free balling, and no lotion attached to this man for the last month. Wow. I, I, I lotion up how often I wash my hair. So it's like once a week. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> lotion once a week is hilarious. Nigga, you about to be itchy as hell. Oh man. <laughs> oh, wow. This nigga's gonna lose freckles. <laughs> That's probably how it works. I'm out here. All right, oh, Tahir, man. it's your turn again, man. Yeah, Ashley, damn right Ashley, it Tahir. is. All right, let's talk about it. Let's go on to uh, let's go back to the to the TV and film. You know what I'm saying? TV film, what we got? Yeah, see what you niggas talking about. See, I can say that I have never seen paid in full. I'm just I'm coming out the gate shooting at Pat. Let's go, Pat. You ain't never seen ah, paid in full. Ah, ah, ah. Nigga, I've never seen it. I, don't I give knew a it. Damn. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was him. I knew that's easy. Why? Yeah. Why not? Why not, Pat? Why is that not in your watch list? It was okay. too many real niggas on the screen. He was like, I can't watch this many real niggas at once. Wanna, you want to honestly know why I haven't seen it? I know nothing about it. I don't know who's in it. I don't know what it's about. If you showed me a poster and it didn't say paid in full on it, I'd be like, oh, what is this? Who are these group of lovely young niggas? Hold like, I don't, I, don't, I, ne- I don't know. I just don't know what it is, what the hype was. And uh, I, have, I have no interest. Mm. I let, just me, don't. Pat, let me ask you a question. In your house, did y'all have bootleg movies? Absolutely. I saw Fantastic Four months before everybody else. <laughs> That was a waste of time, too. Yeah. The first yeah, one was wasn't. No, nah, both of them were. Yeah. You didn't like the one without Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, nigga. Which one was that? That was with Dr. Doom? That was when Captain America, uh, Chris Evans was. The uh, one with Jessica uh, Alba in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, both of them was ass. Yeah, I like yeah. Silver Surfer. Really? Silver Surfer was ass. I like him as a character. Silver, Silver Surfer, Surfer is top five of my favorite superheroes. I can yeah. get yeah. that, but that movie was garbage. I, I, yeah, I love the two. The, I remember I had the, uh, the Silver Surfer uh, action figure. He came Same. with the, the surfboard. He came with the surfboard. Yeah, yep. you like pull it back and wind it and drop. But that movie was ass. He's was never got the credit. He de- he needs his own movie. He was soft talk. in that movie. He was soft he in that soft. movie. But I enjoyed it. But I, that's for sure top five favorite superheroes. I love Silver yep. Surfer. Shout out to Lawrence Fishburne for talking as him. Yeah. No, Switch Burn is his voice, man. I, I, Damn, he, he sure was. Those, both of those back to back, it just wasn't the look. And then they, I don't think they, they figured out how to do Jessica Alba's hair. It, yeah. it was all bad, bro. I liked them. I don't Fantastic cool. Four, Green Hornet. Um, it was Green Hornet or was Lantern? Like, both. No, Green, Green Hornet, both of them. Both of them. I was oh. going to say Green Lantern next. Both of them ass. All yeah. four of those movies should just stop. Not the original I know, Bruce Lee. I know. Right? I know. I know. Seth, it's Rogan. Seth Rogen. Okay, yeah. I know Ryan Reynolds hates that he took that role. I mean, it was no, nothing he could do. There's nothing. nothing he could do because that was a script. It was it a script. It got him to Deadpool, though. I don't think he would have been Deadpool if he didn't do that. Oh, he absolutely would have been Deadpool. He was so. made no, for Deadpool, bro. Yeah, he was made, made for it. Like, yeah. Almost 20 years. If, if, anything, if anything, that almost hurt his career. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it no, didn't hurt his career. Well, but really it, put him in the, career. it put him in the superhero conversation, though. Yeah, no. Well, no I mean, what, he I was in Wolverine. That was X-Men. Yeah, I was going to say, the X-Men put him back in there. He and it also it. low key took him out because that shit. Because that, 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 that Deadpool was, was, was trash too. That was mm-hmm. boo boo kitty shit. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. That was, that was by the time he was Deadpool though. That wasn't that wasn't until after Green Lantern, right? No, that was all before Green Lantern. Like all of that. The Wolverine was, one. Yeah, Wolverine really? was the first. I thought Wolverine was after uh, Green Lantern. Dude, dude. dude. Either way, he I'm makes one of both of them in Deadpool. A Merc with, uh, with a mouth, but he doesn't, his mouth is sewed up. Who, whose fucking yeah, idea that. was that? Stupid. Stupid. Whose idea was that? Uh, I didn't know that was Ryan Reynolds, though. Yeah. <laughs> technically, it was, technically, the dude that was fighting wasn't. Um, have any of y'all seen Undisputed? Yeah. That's Boyka that's fighting. Oh, shit, sure, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. what's up. So, All right, so I guess it's, it's, it's your boy's turn once again. Come on. Let's go. What you picking? What category? Stay for real, hate, real niggas hate. Should I do music or food? I feel like I want to do food again. All right. Let's do food. Did anybody else want to do food? Because I did food last time. It's all good. Run it. Yeah, let's, let's do food. Paid in full. All right. One second. One second. Let's go with. I never saw paid in full. Cameron? Makai Pfeiffer? 
Might come back. I don't even know. Money making like. Mitch. Oh, to hear let to hear. Don't don't let. Don't oh let man. <laughs> So here about I can do without yes. having greens for the rest of my life. To hear, put your damn headphones back on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not listening to any reaction that you have from here for. Talk to yeah. him, Pat. In, in fact, all three of you guys are way too good at covering up your own damn deceit. <laughs> um, but I'm from the south. You can't. I would say that, that about Will. That don't matter now. That don't matter now. That okay? don't matter with Will. That don't matter with Will. <laughs> yeah. I fight so. I don't. Yeah. I Is St. Louis considered the South? Midwest. Midwest they they they, sure. they lump they lump us in with it when it comes to certain things like Same. food and dress and stuff like that. But they really? call St. Louis niggas country and all that shit. Say we can't they, dress. They like our cousins. Okay. Here's the interesting thing I I I I think about soul food. I just had a great conversation the other day about how soul food. If you didn't grow up in the South. You don't be cooking like greens. You don't really be cooking or, or feeling like eating greens, yams, mac, like just on a regular basis. Like the same way that like Italian food, you might like be like, oh, I want spaghetti. Or like, you know, Mexican food, you'd be like, I want tacos. I don't be having cravings for greens and yams and all these things unless it's like but, Thanksgiving or Christmas. But once you've been introduced to it, dog, like your palate changes. Your palate mm. has to change. Like even if you go to Doolin's uh, Kitchen over there on, uh, what is that, on Manchester? Like Manchester La Brea? No, bro, I love Doolin's. I get Doolin's. I used to get Doolin's for uh, Thanksgiving, but it's like I only feel that way around holidays. There's never just been like a Wednesday where I'm like, I'm going to cook some greens or I'm going to go out and get some yams, you know? Um, so let me ask you something. Out of 365 days of the year, how many times do you think you have greens? Four, me? five. Oh. The fact Maybe. that you know it, that's... Says but that's the thing. Like, if if it's more than that, it's because I'm eating leftover greens from a holiday. You know, like I don't go out and get greens, and I love soul food. I love every dish individually, but it's not like a casual food for me. So but you never I, like on your own just got like. Well, I I know you wouldn't cook it, but if you wouldn't get like a can of Glory Greens and a smoked turkey leg and put that shit in a pot and just let it ooh. like the smoke. And then it bro it's like it makes the broth and it's it's. Oh. Mix the broth. What are you talking about? I mix the broth from the turkey. Uh, we talking Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't, I don't trust <laughs> this nigga. Bro. I don't trust what? this nigga. Bro. What? Come Come out. Out. Come in, but Time didn't out. know what to say. <laughs> what? Thanksgiving. Every single Thanksgiving, I've been made sure that there, yeah, there's some collard greens there. Okay. The broth coming from the turkey. I make sure to make my plate. There's a little sloppiness going on, on the right side, but most of the actual physical stuff on the left side. I'm talking about combining my greens with the broth and the turkey. Okay. Oh, I thought you. We thought you. I thought you were talking about cooking. I didn't know you were talking about like on the actual plate. Yeah, no, I mean, we, I don't, we put our smoked turkey legs in in the greens, and we cook yeah. the turkey legs in the greens. You get you let that slow cook, and then you pull that that big bone out, and then you stir those greens up. So now every time you take a a, a, a fork full of those greens, you got some turkey leg with it. See, that's mm -hmm. how we get that. My aunt used to put neck bones in it. They yeah. neck bones too. Neck bones yeah. too. Or ham hocks. Um, I never really, I, I don't think I ever had anybody in my family who used ham hocks, but when it comes to soul food, I know that, I don't know what the fuck greens broth is, but I know that Cleo's whole thing is he doesn't like yams. That was a big thing. I don't, I never heard anything about, you don't like yams, right? No, I like sweet potatoes and yams, so that ain't me. Find it, find it. I love sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Like sweet potatoes. Yams? I said I like pumpkin too. I got sweet potatoes cooked right now in my refrigerator. I would go get. Well, damn! If it if you didn't say that, then it this might be you. But now I don't trust anything to hear says. <laughs> to hear. Not, come, not, not when it comes to food. Not when it comes to food. I don't fuck around with food. This is this one is probably the craziest one so far. Cause I feel like I could see Will saying this and. I ah, damn, I don't think this is to hear. I feel like this could be Will or to hear. Will or Cleo. Ah, Jesus. Well, Will just said ham hock, so it might not be him. Ah, well, Cleo said broth, so I'm gonna have to go with Cleo. Is it Cleo? Cleo, is it you? No! Oh, tell me it's not to hear. Please be Will. No! <laughs> 
I knew it. I knew it. Get him to here. Get his. I knew it. I knew it. I do it. Listen, despite what everybody think in the comments, I love vegetables. I love greens. I be killing those things. Could never get rid of greens. Ever. Dog. I if smoke. I, what make you think I would ever get rid of anything green? If I ever need someone to lie on me to make sure I can get out of a situation, I'm this calling to here. Sells it. Ooh. To hear you from the south, brother. And hey, you know what? You that you serious about, and you sitting there saying you will never. You could go without having greens for the rest of your life. Hold on, and Cleo let me, saved you too. Let me, let me, let me yeah, 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 he did. He, when he yeah. said that broth, I was like, he's yep. my out. It, that threw everything. Here is such a good. See, here is such a good liar. He just convinced us that St. Louis was in the south. <laughs> <laughs> it's I all know jumbled together for a together. fact. That St. Louis is not in the damn South. No, I said they bunch it in sometimes. Like, like they call it South do. Country. Yeah. Anybody, like all the Southern states, they call them country, right? I know it's that uh, St. Louis is considered and they, country. Yeah, yeah, they trying to say we country too, the way we talk, the way we dress and shit like that. So they always call us country too. Here's my thing, Grace, man. Greens are good, right? They're a great accent to a meal, but they're not the meal, right? Greens ain't like dressing. You know what I'm saying? They're not like the turkey. They're not like the mac and cheese. They're a great side, right? That's, that's, that's it. <laughs> And I'm be honest with you, man. Like greens encourage you to eat more. Let me break something down to y'all with the ice, like, because everybody loves Thanksgiving and and Christmas and all that shit. You get the ice and you just sit there with the family, y'all laughing and shit and having a good time. You fall asleep. That's not healthy. When you get the ice, your body is saying all the shit that you just put in. We got to shut everything else down to focus on this shit you just put in. You put too much, okay? It was too goddamn much. Now we got to shut your arms, legs, and eyes down so we can focus on processing this goddamn buffet you just stuffed in your body in one goddamn sit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we goddamn shit like a factory. Shut the shit down. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Clock out. God yeah. damn it. We got to reboot. Yo. Yo. No. Nah. Yo, yo. Wow. You'll never know. You'll never know the truth unless I want you to know the truth. And like I, that's that's in anything. You understand me? So and he ain't lying because I ain't never had greens and I was like, yo, I need some sleep after this. No, he is lying. No, well, green, that's the point. Green shut you down. You think that's the thing on the plate that shuts you down though? Yeah. Uh, I think it's nah, all man. I think it's all of it. Yeah, for real. Cause it I've just, been it just, it just amplified. Look, I'm starting to think like greens is is part indica. It got something in it. Man. <laughs> that should be putting me to bed. Wow. Okay. But I can't get rid Cleo? of. It. Cleo, I feel like we just got to move on from that because I got nothing. I got right. nothing. Run me back to TV and film, man. Let's do this. All right. One second. <sighs> man, to hear guy. I, I don't know what to think. That's about. right there with cornbread. That is right there. I secretly <laughs> think that every boy film is a masterpiece. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who, <laughs> which one of y'all said <laughs> Baby Boy is a film masterpiece? <laughs> hey, Leo did Leo didn't get snubbed out of Oscars that many times for y'all to say this type of bullshit. Man. You see what I'm saying to here? Y'all disrespectful. This is bad. Not, to not here. Cleo, Come on. Cleo, 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 you know I'm a thespian of the arts. I wouldn't lie about my, my career. <laughs> nah, I don't believe you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nah, I don't believe you. Let me ask you, hold on, I'm gonna ask some questions. I don't believe shit to here says, bro. Oh. Pootie tag, yes or no? Yes, it's hilarious. All right. I'm gonna ask you some more. New Jack City, yes or no? Classic. Absolutely yes. Don't be a menace while drinking your gin and juice. Hilarious as fuck. Drinking Kool-Aid out of the navel, eating with the kids' food, all of that. You gross. Yeah. You know, house, house party four. Yes or no? Uh, I could have deal without that one. I, I just didn't want to see immature in an acting role. One is enough with Roger on sister sister, but the whole group is it's too much for me. I know my hood classes, uh, Will. You ain't gonna get me up on that bullshit. Trust me. No, no, I'm just doing an analysis of what we're doing. Baby boy. 
the 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 film that has single handedly kept BET afloat because guaranteed Damn. they will get their ratings because people are gonna watch it when it's on. Bro, it's on ESPN right now. Like how? Why? It is an hour and a half. It ain't, half no, it ain't, it ain't nothing but to license it. It could be on any station. Mm-hmm. You know but right. ESPN for Baby Boy? Yeah, no. What they gonna cover? Staging, bro. <laughs> right, that is true. <laughs> they gonna cover online checkers? They have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> niggas gotta do something. You talking Jody? This Jody? Yo, no. Tyrese okay. can't act, though. Tyrese, Tyrese, hey, look, Tyrese can act like he know how to act. He, There's talent in that. Tyrese is like a lesser ice cube. Like he knows how to be himself, which is considerate because some people like don't even know how to be themselves on camera. But it's like just just not like a convincing version. Can we? Can, has anyone ever seen the old picture of Tyrese with a lip piercing? Nah, I'm, I'm cool. I, I feel like know. I did. Tyrese used know. to have his lip pierced right here, bro. Circle or or stud? No, just a circle. Yeah, not like a loop, but yeah, like a stud right through. A lot. Listen, a lot of rappers and singers did some shit that was questionable. Not even questionable. It was like before it was widely accepted. Remember, Wayne had this pierce. Wayne did it. The For game sure. had a game had a butterfly on his face, and he got to change to L.A. Cisco had his navel pierce. Niggas was out here just trying shit to make them different, bro. This yeah. is true. Niggas was low key stripping too. Cisco had the, the navel pierce, and he had the sun. He has the sun oh, tattoo around it. That nigga is like, yo, let's get it in. Cleo, <laughs> man, who you picking? Who, 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 who? I secretly think that maybe is a film masterpiece. Masterpiece, though. <laughs> to here. <laughs> To hear <laughs> what I figured out to hear his tale too. I know what he's lying. To hear is, is this how out. you feel? No, it's it not me. you. It's not, not me. No, nah, no way. Why, Pat? <laughs> Why, Pat? I like some shit Pat would say. Pat, come on. <laughs> how is it a film masterpiece? Okay, just hear me out, all right? <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, before you explain, Pat, okay. where, what is it that you think was my tail? Because I don't <laughs> yeah. have a tail. That's so funny, do. though. I don't have a tail. I don't. I do something different. I do something different every time. I bite my lip one time. I rub my nose one time. I do a lot of different things. So you would never know if I have a tail. <laughs> Plus, Will, I've been doing this for a long time, bro. Ain't no telling on me. Well, why would I tell your tale so you can know your tale? You can switch it up, smart. Right, way. like, why would I tell you that? All right. I, uh, let me let me just explain myself, okay? Please, please. All right. When it comes to art, everybody... <laughs> no, 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 listen to me, listen to me. When it comes to art, everybody puts everything up against the best shit ever, right? Okay. Nobody takes it for what it's supposed to be, right? That's why a nigga like Soldier Boy or Lil Uzi can come out and there's a bunch of trolls that are like, man, you don't even have bars like that. Kendrick is the one that has bars. And it's like, people don't understand that it's like, nigga, that is supposed to be what it is. It's not supposed to be up against these niggas with bars or against this artistic shit. Like, it's supposed to be fun or it's supposed to be this or it's supposed to be that and if it lives up to that expectation it worked that's why my favorite comedic movie even though it's not a great movie is jay and silent bob strike back because they broke all rules they didn't give a shit about format or or film they just broke all the rules and said fuck everything so that's what i in terms of like what it was supposed to be they did it and they did it great so with that said, I think that what Baby Boy was supposed to be was just a little story about Tyrese, who was a poppin' musician at the time in the hood, and they made it a classic. Like, I understand why BET runs it all the time because it's dope. Like, if you really think about it, like the artistic direction like of him uh, having the fucking decked out bike but not having enough money to do regular shit. Super dope. 
You know what I mean? Like his dynamic with his gangsta ass best friend, even though he wasn't a gangster like that, was fucking dope. His dynamic with his mother was dope as hell. His dynamic with the, the nigga who was fucking his mother was legendary and is still used in memes to this day. His dynamic with his baby mama, who is a superstar right now, is legendary to this day. His dynamic with his baby mama's ex-boyfriend, Snoop Dogg, is legendary to this day. Even his dynamic with the little kid is legendary to this day. So it's just like when you think about how it's a mix between things that you remember, things that you enjoyed about it, and things that are so bad that you will never forget about it. Like the fact that she he hit his girl and then ate her out. <laughs> it's just like there's a lot of things about that that make it for what it is really, really, really good movie. Now, if you were going to put it up against like literary, you know, um, like like film masterpieces and like talk about the camera work and the, the writing and stuff like that. No, obviously that's, that's not the same. But when I say it's a film masterpiece for what it is, it was a dope movie. Because to be honest, there's a lot of hood classics that y'all think are great movies that technically aren't great movies. You know what I mean? So it's like- Give three, Pat. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if I can give, give three. Give, give two. Give I'll two. give one. I think I think set it off was okay. Um, the best thing about Boys in the Hood was Ricky and his family. Ricky and Ice Cube made that movie. Cuba was cool. I love Boys in the Hood, by the way. I'm not saying it was a bad movie, but I think that Ricky and his family is the 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 thing that makes this a movie. Now, it's obviously better than Baby Boy, but I think that Baby Boy is a masterpiece in the same way that Crank That by Soldier Boy is a masterpiece. If you put that up against actual like good ass songs, then it's like, yeah, this shit is silly. But if you think about how it changed the internet, how it changed dance culture, how it changed uh, a whole bunch of things, and how it was just a very fun song for what it was supposed to be. Yeah, Crank That's a Masterpiece. But what did, right. what did Baby Boy change? <laughs> exactly, what? that's exactly what I was about to ask. What did Baby Boy change, Pat? I, I can't say this just to strengthen his- It changed reruns, that's for sure, on, on I television will say stations. That. I let, I let's really that. think about that. In 20 years, this new gen that new generation will probably know what Baby Boy was as compared to something we think is a hood classic like Harlem Nights. There's a lot of people in this generation, like millennials, that don't know what Harlem Nights is. We I don't know. think Harlem Nights is a, a hood classic. I think that's a classic comedy movie. You had superstars in that. Like Tyrese wasn't a superstar. Omar uh, Gooding wasn't a superstar. Taraji at the time was a superstar. The highest billing was probably Snoop as far as notoriety, but the rest of those people weren't superstar. Ving Rains wasn't a superstar at that point. The biggest name was Snoop Dogg. He didn't even have top billing. So I don't think that those compare. And you can't compare Crank That to so uh to 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 uh what's the movie you talking about? Baby Boy? That's not even like that's that's not even on the same. Like you said, it changed everything. It that's the song that single-handedly made him a world vibrant uh world well, star. My, well, my point was they're both masterpieces in their own right, if you break down why. You know what I mean? If you compare it to other general masterpieces, then obviously it falls short. That was my only point. To, to answer Cleo's question, uh, no, there's not a lot of things in, in film history that Baby Boy changed, which is why I don't think it is a innovative movie. You know what I mean? There are a bunch of masterpieces that didn't really do anything new. Like I think Superbad is, an, is a comedy masterpiece. I don't think they necessarily did anything new. I think they just had a, a, a cool twist on a one day movie, you know? so. My, my point is, if you take it for what it is, I think that Baby Boy is a film masterpiece. Not necessarily compared to like Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock, but in, in, in its own right of what it was trying to do, it was so good that it is still relevant. I gotta just say, this is Black Blasphemy and we have to make sure that there is no judgment amongst our statements. 
But hell the fuck no, is Baby Boy a film masterpiece, bro? It's not. It was put on like a freaking play. How, oh my God, the freaking lighting in, in the room when they fight. Oh my the God. The lighting is bad. I will give you that. It's the terrible. Lighting, it's terrible. The lighting inside his house in particular is very bad. It's ridiculous. But, 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 give me this. Give me this. Tyrese is bald and dark skinned. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but it is extremely difficult to light certain types of dark skin tones in in uh, in a in an appealing way, which is why Jordan Peele had to get a certain uh, cinematographer who specialized in lighting dark skin people before he filmed us. Right. So that's that's crazy that that Jordan Peele was able to find one. But the people that made shut the it. hell up to hear. First of all, <laughs> shut the hell up. Second of all, it this was, was a theatrical release. Is all I'm saying. Because also he was in a he was in scenes with Ving Rhames, who's a light skin bald nigga. So it's like, how the fuck do you like that? I give them that pass. I give them that pass. It was a movie. You're right. He should have. He they should have lit it better. But I think that I, I I stand by what I say. I think that Boys in the Hood doesn't have to be syndicated. Menace to Society doesn't have to be syndicated. But for some reason, they are all in the same group as Baby Boy in terms of hood classics. Baby Boy is just never brought up. And you know it's why it's never brought up? It's, it's never it's brought up classic. because there isn't any like random lessons like how the gentrification scene went down in Boys in the Hood. If they had like a random lesson about the hood, people would have started talking about it in the same breath, but they didn't. So the best part of Best part of Baby Boy was when Sloop walked out and kicked the, the kids for it. was like, fuck your fuck fork. Your <laughs> See? Nigga. Classic scenes. I the, hate you. The choking scene. That was the best. That, that shit made me laugh out loud. Fuck your fork. <laughs> I hate you too, little nigga. You ain't my son. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, that yeah. was the most authentic part of the whole movie. Talk about it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Will, what you got? Listen, man, we ain't done music in a minute, so I'm going to go with music. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Go for it. I mean, if you've ever had like a stepfather or like that uncle. <laughs> that <many? laughs> who don't give two, who don't care? Yeah, who don't much. care? That was the most real shit. <laughs> No, but the fact that he asked me, he said, oh, what you got there? You got yourself a little Ford, huh? <laughs> Nigga, fuck you. Yo, Ford. I hate you. I hate you too. <laughs> 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 that nigga just started all disrespectful. <sighs> oh, oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> shit. That was my favorite part, bro. Oh, man. Okay. Um, If you know if you showed me a picture of Casey and JoJo, my response would be, <laughs> what are these niggas? <laughs> Low okay. key though. Okay. Uh, wow. wow. Wait. You mean to tell me you heard a whole Casey and JoJo album, but you ain't heard a whole Biggie album? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Will? I'm, I oh, look, Will's guessing. I'm guessing. I know, I know, but I'm just saying, like, okay. you said, well, wow, well, like. Well, in my defense, oh, yes. That's true. I, only know, wow. I only know what Casey and JoJo look like because when they special guest starred on the Jamie Foxx show, that's the only reason why I know what they look like. All right, too straight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go with to hear only because he's such a music head. He knows everything about music. I would never. Yeah, that's my only. I don't think he would ever be this disrespectful. Food, food, I don't trust. Food, I feel like he don't give a shit. Music, though. Uh. Uh-uh. So it's out of you two. It's out of you two. I might have to go with Cleo because I know Pat don't know nothing about seventies and eighties. And I'm not going to say what he said. We're going to wait for that. But uh, Actually, I know a little bit about 70s, not 80s, though. 80s, yeah. 
Um, so I would think you know more about that. Who's so, older? Who's older between Pat and Cleo? Cleo. Cleo. The final answer was who? I don't no. think he gave one. Um, I'm gonna go with Cleo. Wow. <laughs> wow. You'd be dead ass wrong because I've been. What the fuck does that make us look like? <laughs> You be dead ass wrong, Will. I'll be laying pipe to KC and Jojo. I know what they look like, brother. It's Pat. It's Pat 100%. What the fuck do them niggas look like? Are they both bald? <laughs> they are now. They are now. Now yeah. they are. Okay. But in their heyday? Come on, bro. <laughs> Back in the, bro, they had it. They had I was nervous. Oh. I was nervous about this one because I was, I was looking in the comments and everybody was immediately like, Pat, I'm glad that Will wasn't looking at it, but everybody was immediately like, Pat, that's how he talks. And I was just like, fuck. Now that I see how y'all wrote y'all answers, aside from to here, this is 100% how I talk. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure to make it anonymous, anonymous next time. So there'll be no way to figure out who it is. Hey, no, you know no, no, that's my fault. Because I said that, I, I gave it to you how I would say it in real life. But it, I mean, it's true. It's true. Casey, that's JoJo, true. I couldn't name one song, literally. Do they sing All My Life? Yes. No, my life. Okay, they were good. And I Definitely probably have yeah. heard their music, but I could not recognize them if they uh if they robbed me and you and you gave me a lineup. Look at the what you said about Mary J. Blige, now this don't surprise me. Don't surprise me. What's what did he say about Mary J. Blige? Oh no, 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 no. Don't do it. What did don't he say about it. the queen of OMB? Oh no! Hey, Will, Will, you already. I mean, honestly, that was something that I I submitted. Kadeem, can you just hit him with it real quick? Okay, that's what Casey and Jojo look like, by the way. Oh, like I said, never seen them before. That recent? Oh, but this this is know. new. This new Casey and Jojo. But um, I did submit something. I did submit my thoughts about Mary J. Blige. To hear. Um, and, and to hear, you're not ready, brother. To hear, as a music lover, you're not ready. Wow. <laughs> just go, Pat. Just go. Just, just go. Bye, guys. Wow. To hear and his and his facts when he starts listing, he went on a full eight minute rant to back that statement. Wow. It's true. You think you, you, think you know somebody? <laughs> it's true. Let me just tell you this. If I hire you as a DJ and you drop that I would literally be like, nigga, what the fuck is this? A cruise ship? You're fired. <laughs> you can't go nowhere if it is a cruise ship. That is very true. <laughs> Here's what blows my mind. People enjoy Mary J. Blige. That's what's crazy. This whole <laughs> she can't dance. She I I don't know if she can sing or not, but she definitely can't song write. Her song with Method oh Man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm passionate about this. It's I crazy. Have, it's crazy. I, Ain't nobody packed Pat out by now. I, I don't have I don't have any uh, problems with her as a woman. I'm sure she's a great girl. Uh, great woman. But it's like between her music and that Burger King com commercial where she stood on the counter and said, Crispy chicken, the fattest, the fattest. It's, it's like between that and the, the music that I hear, I just, I can't, I can't stand her. <laughs> the hands, the hands. So here, look at the hands. All I, all I want to know is still just what is a dancer? Just what is please. What is a dancery to hear? To hear, can you tell us what a dancery is? No, dancery. A dancery. What is a dancery? Tell us, Will. I don't know. I'm asking. I because I got questions. It and from dancery. the expert of wording is hard, I would think this would be the perfect time to ask what a dancery. What's up to hear? What's a dancery, Mister? Who said? Who who Mr. who oh, said? I got, I got a show. With words, I know all the words. What's dancery, huh? Who who said dancery? Mary J. 
in this dancery we got this funk and all your bumping so you got yeah. to dance for me don't need no hateration holleration get those fuck <laughs> she straight with jesse jackson she was just like yo fuck it so y'all ain't never been to a dancery bar have you <laughs> i don't think that's a thing listen dancery is a uh, just looked it up. It's a it's a brilliant earth shattering word mm -mm. that Mary J. Blige invented oh, to accentuate so anything. the rhyme scheme of a masterful song, placing her among the accolades as Shakespeare of our, of our age. age. Yeah, you're on Urban Dictionary right now. But it's it's, not it's published. <laughs> it's published. Oh my God. First of all, you know it's not credible when the example sentence is, "Hey, do you want to go to the dancery?" Hell yeah! There's no hateration or holleration there. <laughs> oh, so you look, so you yeah, look yeah. it up too. No, no, no! I'm, I'm you. To look it up. You're on, you're on Urban Dictionary, and that's not credible to hear more. Nope. <laughs> Jeez, man. Hold on, right? I see Webster has something for dancery too. Webster? No, Did they add it to the actual English language. Hold on, wait, let me see if I can put it on here. My ying. Dancery. What? The definition? Webster. Uh, the definition is a place or entertainment of entertainment. A dancery is a place of entertainment, a nightclub or a dance hall. So it's in Webster. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, fuck, nigga. Now I apologize to the queen. About what? I didn't know what a dancery was? <laughs> nah, that, that's toward Pat. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Did she put it in the dictionary or did she? Hey man, stop, 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 stop doing that. Just whose turn is it now? Wait, 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 wait. Cite this entry. Nigga, this was made in 2020. Bingo. Fuck out of here. They just put it in there. She made <laughs> that it up. She no, made that was shit up, bro. That was a nigga who had Webster's login. That's the oh, no, no, no. To hear, did you just write that before you looked it up? No. Oh, okay. Can you do that? You can do that on Wikipedia. I don't know Wikipedia. I don't know about Webster. I don't know if Webster that open with it yet. I'd be fucked up if you could do that for Webster. I wouldn't know. Why you oh, I changed so much. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Hey. Oh, I have all these kids messed up. Oh, and because it says April 19th. That's why you said that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, nigga, this entry was made today. <laughs> wait a minute. Don't let me find no timestamp. Wait, 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 wait. Can right. you? Change Webster? Pat, put two and two together, bro. What time that's what time that say that? Can you do that? Hmm? This man to here. He did not just add to defend the RB queen herself. Hmm? You can't just do that, can you? Put a hey. whole word into the Webster online profiles. Listen, man, yeah, he's he been on Brooklyn Nine Nine. I don't. I believe he can do anything. Big that fact. wasn't me. It for sure says access April nineteenth, twenty twenty. That just means the last time somebody looked it up. Does it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically looked up. No, but yeah. then that would always be the day yes. of, because you're looking it up right now. Yeah, exactly. exactly. There it is. That makes sense. Whose turn is it? It's yours, actually. <laughs> Bro, if you if you added that in this show, that's legendary. So I'm not even gonna look for it. <laughs> that's uh let's go with the um, Sheesh. Culture. Black general black, culture. Black general culture. Roscoe's is overrated. Before I make my claim as to why I'm guessing the specific, this specific person, let me just say that I wholeheartedly agree, okay? When I read it, I realized that I have been ordering one thing out of that long ass menu for as long as I can remember. And I love it. I love the Obama special, but shit, bam. Mm-hmm. Um, damn. 
I'm learning shit about myself. <laughs> this is a uh, this is interesting because I probably hung with Will and Pat the most, and I've never heard either one of them claim to want to get Roscoe's so or never have like a fixation or an inkling for for Roscoe's. Cleo, I don't know that much about you, but the fact that you don't have a mustache makes me think that you really don't care either way about fried chicken. So at this point, it could be any of you all. Um, it's a good one. Damn. Um, I would be inclined to say Will because he is from the South and they do chicken different down there. Um, however, Will has showed us that his Southern roots hold no, no strength to his character. I'm gonna... um, oof, this is a tough one because all your niggas suck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Cleo, where are you from originally? Anchorage, Alaska. Are you serious? Born in Anchorage, Alaska, raised in Los Angeles, California. Nigga, okay. him. This is some Alaskan shit. <laughs> I'm going to go with Pat then. <laughs> since, since Pat tried to throw Cleo under the bus, I'm just gonna go with him just on the strength of that. Because really I don't know who it, I'm that evil. You really think I'm that evil? Well, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad you went with your gut because you are 100,000 percent incorrect. I like Roscoe's. Mm. You but don't I'm have to. Evil. You don't. You don't. You don't have to not like it to think it's overrated. That's that's, that's what not saying. what I'm saying. I don't yeah. Really agree with this, but this yeah. was not my submission. I didn't think this until just now. Um. Then this will that's let me down again. Hey man, look, I know I let you down a lot, and um, on this show it might be a couple more times, but it definitely ain't this time. Now I do wow. agree with the sentiment, but it's not wow. me. I didn't see. See, see? Will, Cleo, you it's... snake, you are a Slytherin. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me tell you about Roscoe's. I see all of you on social media, on your Instagram. Sweet. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Roscoe's. I can't wait to go to Roscoe's. And then you show up in LA, y'all pull up to, to LeBre and Pico. You sit out there on that hard ass bench. You make a line. You guys are just huddled around trying to get in the door. You get in there. Let me tell you something. The food, it ain't all that. The macaroni and cheese, trash. trash. The cornbread, trash. Ew. The fried chicken, trash it's not seasoned it's not seasoned at all there's nothing on it you, you want to add hot sauce chicken? here's your hot sauce that's all you're getting you need that's that all hot you sauce. want to season your chicken there's your hot sauce for you, you need wait, Cleo, let's is, talk about the waffles let's talk about the waffles bro let's talk about the waffles and roscoe's complete ass complete ass so wait are you saying that it's overrated or it's trash altogether we'll go with the, your second option it's trash altogether you don't like it at all. Period. <clears throat> there it is. I said it. I can go my whole life without having Roscoe's again. I'm not mad at that. I did. I, exactly I, I, I feel. I feel like that they're, they're 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 hella overrated. I feel like they uh the secret recipe in the waffles that ain't shit but cinnamon and nutmeg that ain't no Talk goddamn secret. It. Talk uh, about. It. I feel like the chicken is is kind of bland. You know, so I, and I understand Wait, like they. You can you know that cinnamon and nutmeg thing from taste or from you know what they they use? No, I know that from taste because I I cook I cook with with cinnamon and my my mom waffles as well. So here's the food, man, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so it just gives it just a hint. Um, I will say they have decent waffles. Like they're not like crispy. They're they're pretty soft for the most part. But uh, I'm not. I'm they not are hard pressed. Limp, they are. They, yeah, limp. for sure. It's a yeah. flapjack. At that point, yeah. it's a flapjack with ridges. That's it. It's, That's what you get. You get a pancake. Do it. There we go. That's it. That's, That's it. your waffle. And it's overrated. It. Yeah, they yard bird ain't all that. Flapjacks either. because they're like all floppy and flappy. What'd you say? Roscoe's? No, our, our pancakes called flapjacks because they're all floppy and flappy. Don't give me the lie. Yeah. No, I don't lie. I try to keep it all the way 100. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I like Roscoe's. I like the country boy, but I don't get anything else. And I know that their sides are really good. I do like their greens and their Mac. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I did exactly what Cleo mentioned. And I was like, yo, I, I'm glad I got that experience. And 
That was about it. Yeah, it's kind of like if it if it disappeared, I wouldn't miss it. What'd you get? Yeah. Obama special. Okay. It ain't all that, bro. And then they, what's the drink? The the oh, the sunny sunrise, the sunset. I like all that for sure. Did you hear it just go? Yeah, that was mine. Yeah. Okay. You want to go? Was that mine? I, I I thought I got culture. What? Didn't I ask that for was, culture? That was, that was the culture one. I put it as culture because oh. because I know you know Roscoe. Okay. You know, okay. yeah. yeah. You guys want to just do one more each and then wrap it up? That works. For sure. All right, then uh, I've chose food this whole time. Let me go with music for my last time. Music, black blasphemy. Let's see the musical facts. I have never listened to Keisha Cole. <sighs> I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. And the reason why I'm, and, and damn, the fact that I'm not mad at that makes it really hard to guess who this is. I feel like to hear genuinely either enjoys Keisha Cole or her genre. So I don't think this is to hear. Shit, everything is difficult with music with to hear low key. Okay. okay. Well, look, while you think about that, I know uh, Cleo has to go because Cleo has to go do his stream as well for Final Fantasy VII. So okay. uh, we just want to chunk deuce to Cleo while you continue to think about that. Wait, Cleo, do you have to go right now or you have like a minute or so? I got I got, I got, got to start setting up. So if we can get to 535, I'm in. Because okay, I still got to Why don't you just do yours right now? And I'll think about my Keisha Cole one. Okay, let's do it. Let's do me one more for me. Let's do it. Um, let's go. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go. Food. If we still got a food available. Uh, pretty sure I got a food available. Ah, uh, okay. This is a good one. Hold on. I never listened to. If Kadeem, if Kadeem said it's a good one, I'm right. I'm nervous. Just to get people fire a little fired up. Turkey bacon is delicious, and pork bacon is overhyped. One of you feels this way. One of you is speaking from experience. One of you is co-signing a whole turkey bacon piece over a pork bacon. Oof. Niggas love pork. It overhyped was enough to just write. Like, that right there was enough to write. The fact you want to say turkey bacon, bacon, bacon in it? Niggas are willing to die for bacon. So I feel like this is a very risky thing to put out there. We don't Bro. even consider bacon part of the pig. Everything else we'd be like, no, throw bacon. Uh, low key. Niggas bacon. talk about pork bacon like it ain't part, like it ain't pork. <laughs> it's his own animal, bro. Yeah. Low bacon, key. bacon makes everything better. It is the, bacon is the best hype man in the food <laughs> realm. Ever. Well, bacon, ever. bacon's the only food that has a seasoning. There's literally like bacon salt, bacon bits. Like you can- There's bacon soda. You Bro, can literally wait a minute. That's baking soda. No, 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 no. I, I said it just how I said it. Bacon soda. Oh, like what? a drink? Yes. The uh, bacon yeah, shakes as well. Old Sacramento. Yeah, there is a bacon, bacon shakes. You said you a dumbass. It's bacon soda. <laughs> Like, <laughs> bacon even has bacon has the ability to make pastries good. Have y'all had the donut with the bacon on it? Like the, yeah. the maple bar? I the maple bar here. to here? Until the bite. Come on, bro. Until the bite, I thought it was a bad idea. But maple bars with bacon absolutely works. Fire. Absolutely. And I'm sure that's pork bacon. <laughs> all right, Cleo, yeah. who you going with? You guys all put up amazing arguments all of you were quite convincing i gotta go pat wow that is so offensively correct <laughs> yes turkey bacon is not that difficult y'all niggas need to get over it turkey bacon is delicious i made some pork bacon the other day and i was like this is great but i also think turkey bacon is great Y'all talk about pork bacon like it is the best thing on 
earth. Wendy's even made a sandwich with bacon sauce, bacon bits, and bacon infused into the meat. So if niggas are liking bacon that much, then I feel like overhyped is a good word. Now, I feel like you guys use overhyped in a different way. You guys would say overhyped and then go into an explanation about how you hate it. I think it's overhyped, but I love pork bacon. So mm. it's like, I just think that it's overly hyped. I love pork bacon and I think it's great, but I just think that how people talk about it is overhyped. And turkey bacon is great. Turkey bacon is fantastic. People talk about turkey bacon like it is black licorice and I think it's good. <laughs> I, I knew it had to be Pat. It can't be to here because I saw a piss to here got when Doughboy cooked turkey burgers. So I was like, I know he was. I cooked the turkey burgers. That was me. Wait, to here, you don't like turkey burgers? Wait, you cooked the turkey burgers? I tried to give people options because I was doing the pork ribs. I'll never do it again. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I like turkey burgers too. I, this ladies and gentlemen. Surprise me at all. I got to take my exit, ladies and gentlemen, but this has been an amazing first run of Black Blasphemy, and I cannot wait for episode two. I think we got one with this. This is only going to get better. No, no, no. This is my favorite game at this point. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. This hell is my yeah. favorite game. But thank you so much, Cleo Thomas. Thanks yes. for Cleo Thomas, Mr. Uh, Slick Living. Mr. Cloud, Mr. Pharaoh, to hear more love. Mwah. Keep it going, right, brother. Peace. Peace. All right, now back real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and say that the Keisha Cole thing was Will, because there's nothing about Will Ferrell that says I listen to Keisha Cole, but I feel like to hear more listens to some, some old school R&B while, while he sips some whiskey. So my final, my final guess is Will Ferrell does not listen or has never heard a Ke was it that, was that it? Never heard a Keisha Cole song? Yeah, we've never heard a Keisha Cole. Will? I'm sorry, Pat. That was in my Keisha Cole is in my fuck action playlist. Uh, you lying, bro. Mm -mm. Everything I've gotten wrong was to hear. That is crazy. I didn't say it was me. No, it may not be him. I think you. I really think it was Cleo. It was Cleo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I officially now cannot read to hear more. I can officially now not read. Just why? I, I just want to know from because of a person that loves music, what is your reasoning? I've never liked Keisha Cole, ever, 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 ever. Just never been somebody that I would ever listen to. I can't name you like literally. If my life is on the line, I can never ever name you one Keisha Cole song, ever. That's saying a lot too, because I love music. And she I, just yeah, don't do it for I, me. I got a huge respect for people that you listen to. So I'm like, if you saying it, man, that's. Yeah. What's up? What's up? I have, I I feel like I'm just getting jumped <laughs> by two years choices. This is not. Jesus it. Christ. Wow. Buck. All right, Will, last, last, last pick. What you got? Man, what haven't I went with? Uh, sports. None of us did sports. I don't think anybody submitted sports. We didn't we yeah. sports. swapped that out with uh, music. Remember? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got gotcha. you. So uh, like film, TV, music, food, and general culture. Okay, I think I did. Let's do. Let's do film then. Film and TV. Okay. All right. Let me get one up. And remember, Cleo is still a choice. Yes. Okay. He just doesn't have to uh, act like he, it wasn't him. <laughs> Which clearly everybody is on par with. I did not fucking expect that. I've never watched a TV show, The Game. Oh, well, shit. Damn. This is why I love this show. <laughs> and this is it. This is why I love this show. <sighs> I just wanna say that this is officially the second most popular stream we have ever done. This is only coming close to the quarantine games that we did last week, which is super dope. That, that peaked at about 2,500. We have about 2,300 in the chat right now. So definitely oh, no. shout out to the all deaf fans. Oh, jeez. What did you start acting? 
Um, my first gig, my first acting gig was like 2006. Hey, hey, Pat, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just want to let y'all know, we also have 79 on Facebook, another 69 on YouTube, I mean, All Deaf Gaming, and then 526 on Arcade Tokens right now. 500? 526. Man, we should have, I forgot to put this in, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah. No, people People from um, uh, Damn Internet That You Scary are watching it because I'm watching the updates on Discord, too. Well, Perfect. shit. There it is. This is officially the most successful stream we have had in all deaf history. Perfect. Thank you. Go pretty well. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so 2006. I feel like you and Cleo might have tried out to be on here. So... That's why you yeah. asked how long he's been auditioning. Yeah, so I was like, I feel like you would have had to watch it for research. This is a tough. That's, one. A, that's a fantastic strategy. I want, and I want to say, Pat, because I feel like this wouldn't appeal to you. Hmm, a black show about sports. Don't do yeah. that. Don't do that. Why you? Why you add black part? Like I don't like black shows. I know I don't like sports, but you added black like I don't like black shows. I said I like black baby boy. That doesn't mean I fucking don't like black class. Baby boy was a masterpiece. So um it's another with, part. With asterisks. <laughs> um oh man, this this could be either I, I, anybody to be honest. Um Who you got Will. This is a good one. This is. I'm gonna go with my gut instinct and just say because this wouldn't appeal to you, Pat. I, I'm gonna go, Pat. I'm out here, the scapegoat. Jesus, listen. I don't know how to answer this. I don't know how to answer this. I did not submit this. It is not me. But I'm. I'm. I want to. I want to say I have never seen an episode of the game. So you're not wrong, but you're wrong. Okay. Oh shit! There's the smile. Is it fucking you? <laughs> It's not me. It's not, oh, him. It's not him. He's suspicious. It's okay, I, I understand that. It was Cleo. That. It was Cleo yeah. for that one. Cleo makes sense. Yeah, Cleo. Cleo for that one. Cleo now, question you to hear, had, did you actually get an audition for the game? No. Okay. I've never, I've never seen an episode of the game. So nobody. Oh, that's, oh, that's okay. No matter who you said, Will, that's crazy. Nobody watched ah, the game. Wow. But that. Uh, Yet three black people were afraid to say that in front of black people, but none of us watched it. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all didn't miss nothing. If if I'm just if I'm just being a hundred percent honest, y'all not missing nothing. Like when it was on, like for one, it was on one channel, then it moved to another, and it was just like it was a lot going on. Like if you saw it, cool. If you didn't, it's like I'm not finna press you if y'all didn't watch the game. Like, all right. Yeah. All right. Well. Here we go. Last one of the day. Um, I had no idea how strong this game was. I've never played a game for an hour and 40 minutes. But here yeah, we are. Has it been that long? It's yeah. been an hour and 40 minutes, sir. Uh, uh, this is the last one. This is on our guest to hear more. You cool. got food, you got movies, you got music, and you got black culture. What do you want to take us out on? Uh... Who just you just did show and Pat, you did what music? I did music, yeah. All right, so I guess I'll do um I'll do black culture again. Black culture, general uh, black, black culture. culture. Black culture. What well, we got, Mr. Zordon? Uh, I'll, I'll go with this. Well, hmm. Uh oh, I feel like there's more than one that he's decided. Yeah, I mean, I just this is the last one. I just I just wanted it to be good. But we'll just go with this. We'll go with this. <laughs> I feel like that's a very 2001 point of view. I don't know if any niggas really think the big rims have a point at this point. Yeah. What was the and, other one? What was the other one, Kadeem? Other one was. You know what? Let's go with this one. Yeah, you know what, Kadeem, go which whichever one out of out of any category is the best right now. Okay, hey. let's do that. Just do that. Let's do yeah. that. Now, now I get down to open this up a little bit. And then uh, there's other what category it is too. Gotcha. Uh, this this would be a good conversation starter. Let's go with this one. Mm. 
Sierra is the best dancer in the female R&B category. Wow. I already know who that is. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not going to go with Will on this one because he's from Texas. And I don't think he would disrespect Beyonce like that, just being from the same state. Is Beyonce uh, considered the best dancer in female r and B? I don't even think Beyonce is considered. No, um, but I think I think that's just a allegiance that he would show. I would hope. I would hope that he would show that. Well, shit. Beyonce. Now that I'm thinking about it, who is the best dancer in the female R and B? It category? probably would be. It probably would be Sierra. Low key. This isn't. This isn't necessarily false. It ain't. Yeah. Like, no, that we they've actually had this debate between Sierra and Beyonce. Like choreography wise, Beyonce takes it. Freestyle wise, like if you told both of them just bust out in the dance right now, Sierra's gonna take it. Well, Beyonce for can for sure dance, but I feel like her whole thing is like dancing in heels, whereas Sierra's whole thing is like dancing, dancing. Like she damn near dances like a nigga. <laughs> actually, um Y'all mind if I change it one more time? I think I got one more. I think we all agree yeah. that she, she's the best. Yeah, who let's, who let's... was that, though? Who was it? That was Cleo. Okay. <laughs> Mayonnaise is amazing. And I'm Undercover not... Brother made us hate on it. Okay. Um, so, on this one. Um, so, the facts. This one, this one is hard because I love mayonnaise, um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never seen Undercover Brother. Um, Will, what was your favorite point in Undercover Brother? Uh, Dave Chappelle when he said, "Give me a pillowcase, I'm joining the claim." What was your favorite part, Pat? Shit. Uh. Undercover Brother? And I just watched Undercover Brother, too. That's funny. I'm going to go with Will. I'm going to go with Will. Wait, 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 wait. Can't forget about Cleo. I don't know. Cleo ain't got no mustache, so I feel like he might like mayonnaise. Okay. Always a valid reason. Yeah. However, however, like, he also likes blue box, blue box macaroni and cheese. So that kind of negates anything delicious that he would like typically. For real though, that kind of cancels him out. Um, dude, this is a doozy. What is my favorite part of Undercover Brother? Man, I love all of it. That shit is I funny. love Undercover Brother. But I don't really? remember it like that. Who was who was in that movie, Pat? Um, Ed, I mean Eddie Griffin was the man. Okay, well, uh, uh, Kadeem, it was a test he, to see. He clearly was asking Pat. That's yes. why I didn't say anything. <laughs> that, I, I mean, I just Eddie my Griffin bad. Is, um, yeah, that white girl. Oh, okay, that's what's up. I'm gonna go with Will. Will was biting his lip at the top of the of the, where the car was first released. He was doing all of this. So if it's not Will, it's Cleo, but I, I feel like it's Will. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I understand your skepticism uh, to hear, cause like, you know, I've definitely let y'all down a couple of times, but um, I didn't need Undercover Brother to make me hate mayonnaise. Um, you hate no, mayonnaise? I, I, the first time I ever had it, I threw up. And um, no, like I think the only time I ever eat mayonnaise is on like a spicy chicken sandwich. And that is about it. So wait, Kadeem, Kadeem, is it Cleo? No. Who is it? Pat, you sent me this, didn't you? Ah, you damn <laughs> right. I was like, I it is goddamn <laughs> delicious. And I don't care who says otherwise, all right? Man, <laughs> yes, I, I know Eddie Griffin was in Undercover Brother. I love that movie. I acted like I didn't know who was in it. But <laughs> mayonnaise is absolutely delicious. They tried to have a little slick scene where he offered a sandwich with mayonnaise dripping out of it. No one makes sandwiches like that. But right. for some reason, myself and the black people around me 
around me started dissing mayonnaise consistently, and I attribute that to Undercover Brother. We, for some reason, they made it a cultural norm for Black people to hate mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. It is delicious. It's flames all day. Delicious. I will say. I will say this: one flame thing with mayonnaise is when you mix it with ketchup and use it as dipping. Or um, what's the other thing? The aioli sauce. Yeah. That's aioli sauce. Garlic and lemon. Yeah, aioli sauce. Is aioli sauce has the best, is the best named sauce out of all of the sauces because besides barbecue sauce, that's the only sauce that sounds delicious. Yes. <laughs> aioli sauce just sounds great. Well, I'm, no, no, I'm not even gonna lie. Honey mustard sound, uh, sauce sounds delicious. But aioli sound like you finna have something fire. 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 Just like mayo. I love mayonnaise and it's good on most sandwiches so i don't care i can't I agree do it. i can't do it all the time i ain't got i i don't hate it as much as i was when i was younger but i'm definitely not the biggest i love it no, okay I well it. i didn't get that much backlash as i thought um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this has been the uh first gamified installment of black blasphemy uh, we want to thank our first guest ever to hear more. Appreciate it. Um, we got a lot of stuff off of our chest, uh, yeah. but um, I personally love the shit out of this game. So I, I want to try to uh, do this on quarantine games or just some other time this week. Um, but yeah, um, let us know what your black blasphemy uh, facts are. And uh, we will see you next time. Appreciate oh, yeah. it. And don't, and don't forget to, uh, before we go, don't forget to follow Patrick Cloud on all his social media. Make sure you check out to hear his wording. It's hard. It is mm -hmm. hilarious. I believe you got BT Kingsley on this week. If that I do. I absolutely do. And don't forget to check out 420 Con tomorrow, hosted by Will Ferrell himself. It's going to be an amazing day. We got a lot, of, a lot of cool things for you guys to check out. So make sure you go and register for that. You can go find it on uh, All Def Con. Uh, or you could go to the Instagram page. So check that out as well. Get your tree ready for tomorrow. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. we've we we we've been seeing your comments. We've been seeing your comments when we first started. Big, 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 big love and prayers and condolences to Jay Wheels. We lost the legend. Um, you know, this is somebody who was very involved in the roast me uh, series. Uh, to hear he was even nice enough to host sort of like a, a fundraiser for him last night. He passed away yesterday, unfortunately. Big rest in peace to Jay Wheels. We love you. We love your family. Thank you guys for being a part of All Def. And we are trying to get something together video-wise uh, to post in your honor. Uh, so with all of that said, uh, this is the first episode of Black Blasphemy. If you guys like the game, let us know what other categories we could have, what other guests you want us to have on the show. And we will keep this going. Uh, as always, I'm Patrick Cloud. I'm Will Farrow. Uh, big shout out to Cleo Thomas. And thank you to our guests to hear more. Appreciate you, sir. And shout out to Kadeem, man. Kadeem ain't never on the camera, so he'll never get to show I, his I face. Mean, but listen, if you see what Cleo looks like, just think that's, that's what I look like. <laughs> that with a, with a mustache. Yeah, Cleo <laughs> with a mustache. Yeah, Cleo with a mustache. Imagine if Cleo lifted weights, grew a mustache, and, got, and was a little shorter. That's Kadeem. So <laughs> that's the Zordon. He's behind the ones and twos, as I like to say, of literally every live that you guys have been seeing. So show him some love in the comments. Absolutely. And uh, until next time, guys, we will see Peace you out. probably tomorrow. Yes. Bye, guys.